Now to an on your side update about a local death row inmate fighting for his life. James Daly was sentenced to death for the 1985 murder of Shelley Baggio. Jack Piercy was also sentenced for the murder, but only given life in prison. Piercy has since confessed to committing the murder alone, but today in court he refused to cooperate. Our Shelby Danielson has the details for us all new at 11. With hope in sight, 73 year old James Daly walked into court Thursday in Pinellas County. A few months ago, he thought his life was over. His execution date had been set on death row in Stark, where he's been in prison for more than 30 years. But to give his new attorney time to review the case, Governor Ron DeSantis delayed the execution and has yet to reschedule it. He was super emotional today. Um, this was a painful day. Joshua Dubin, who works with the Innocence Project, is now Daly's attorney. It's painful for him to see Jack Piercy, you know, um, go in there and play games the way he does. In December of 2019, Piercy signed an affidavit confessing to the murder of Shelley Boggio and stating he acted alone when he killed her in Pinellas County. But he refused to answer questions at Thursday's hearing. Your mom's here in court. She wants you to hear, hear you to tell the truth. And this is your chance. Um, why, uh, why can't we just get another two hours of your time here of testimony and we'll all be done with this and, and go our separate ways? Can we can we do that? No, sir. Piercy has now claimed his innocence and insists his previous confessions were to prevent Daly from being executed. On May 1st, a judge will make a ruling whether Piercy's previous confession will stand. Shelley Boggio's family members believe both men are guilty. Meanwhile, local organizations have advocated for Daly's innocence. James Daly will either be the 100th person executed by the state of Florida or the 30th death row exoneree, and I aim it to be the latter. Shelby Danielson, First Coast News, on your side.